Gonna give these a shot today absolutely it's a beautiful day the trails aren't open yet but we uh, we need to learn so we're gonna just do a little practice we have a circle <laughs> and a 700 foot driveway <laughs> so right now it's what 15 degrees it's about 15 degrees and it was seven degrees this morning yeah so it's nice right now in the clearing the Sun feels great yeah I'll take it why isn't it staying that's a good question. I thought it was supposed to stay. Maybe it tilts as you start to back up. It's just supposed to be that shock thing that I replaced. It's supposed to hold it up. It's not working. Is it because you're on a little bit of an incline and it can't tilt enough? I don't know. I don't have any answer. <laughs> but once I get the sled moved, it should, you know, the weight of the tilts. sled. I mean, if, if you want, you could just keep your foot on the corner here. I, I kind of. You need to do. It's not that much of a difference. It's just. Watch your head. Uh, all right, I'll try. I feel nervous about this. That's why people hate these things. But yeah. This is our first that's time. That's all you gotta do. All right. And just watch the ski. I'll yeah, try not to run you, your foot over. You're not taking this one off first, are you? Why can't you take that one off? I could do that one. Or I'll go on that side and you take the. Yeah, you is, stand there. Yeah. Put both feet on there. You can stay right there. Once we live here year round, mm -hmm. we'll just make it a permanent way to keep them so that they could go on and off and we don't have to worry about this, right? Right. Okay. You got the key? Okay. You got the key. Let's just uh, see what happens, okay? They okay. have reverse. All right. Nice look and easy key. and duck because I don't want you to hit your head. I know we're new at this. I know. So. Dad told me to look at his helmet. He said there's a lot of scratches on it. How was that? That was awesome. Yeah, I like it. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> this thing is stupid fast. It's scary fast. It's really fast. It does wheelies. Ugh. Ugh. What did you think about your first trip on the snowmobile? Um, well, it's really fast, faster than I expected. 
<laughs> I know it's a snowmobile, but I didn't expect it to slide around as much as it does, like when you're turning and stuff. You mean the back or the front? It just kind of skids around, unless yeah. I was taking turns too fast. I don't know. No, I feel like we don't have a lot of snow, but... Mm, um, icy snow. Chunky. Uh, yeah, they are very powerful machines, and, you know, you have to goose it a little bit to get it to go, and then yeah. you back off a little bit to... to uh, this thing, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The trigger? No, throttle the, control. The throttle control. That moves up and down. So I didn't realize I could move it. And at first it was way low. So it was actually hurting me. It was taking a lot to really kind of keep my arm in that really weird, awkward position. And once I realized I could twist it upward, I was much better. Um, I had okay, a lot we'll better control. We could adjust it for you and tighten it. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. Um, but definitely a lot of fun. And I can't wait for some good snow and the trails to be open. Yeah. So, yeah, these things were sitting around for seven years uh, with full tanks of fuel. In the trailer, in my parents' driveway. Yeah. And, and uh, we got that out. And we showed yeah. that in one of the past videos. Uh, it was really embedded. We had a little trouble pulling it out because the tires had sunk so far in. And even the axle was kind of in the ground, right? I thought we were going to pull it and leave the <laughs> axle and tires right in the mud there. But we got it out. And then the back was frozen shut. That seems to be shut. a problem. Oh boy. Hang on. It's gonna have to be broken loose. It's frozen. All right, maybe we need to put it over by the garage then, Rich. Wow. Got that open and Richie finally got them into the garage. And you did a whole thing on repairing them, right? Yeah, basically just cleaning them up and getting them ready. So that's a video we'll link up here to that video where Richie, uh, what he did to get them running. So once they were running and then we had to struggle to get them from the garage back into the trailer. That was fun. No, that wasn't fun. <laughs> we're not gonna do much at the property today. We're just gonna go and come back, right? Yeah, we're okay. gonna just probably drop these. We'll see, maybe we'll get ambitious. Uh-uh. Uh. <laughs> what is it, negative 10? Negative 10. <laughs> Oh no! It's frozen. Go! Put the lock on it. struggle and anybody out there who knows anything and does their own repairs on snowmobiles we would really appreciate some um tips In input yeah on how to get them into the trailer again after they're in your garage but yeah so we got them in the trailer we got them over here we're here we're here and we're unhooking oh and the sun's like a setting over there oh my god beautiful 
It's beautiful, but it's cold, and we uh, have a lot to do in a short amount of time. We're going to try to put some silicone spray here so that it doesn't it's stick. It's frozen already. It already froze? Probably. <gasps> no. Come on. You got it. Do it. You got it. Nice. Yeah, I'll get some of this ice off of here. And that's what? Silicone spray? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. All right. You're up to date. Now we're just waiting for a good snowstorm. Yes, we are. I can't wait. I'm, <laughs> anxious. I'm anxious to really <laughs> learn how to ride these things. There's definitely some uh, learning involved safety issues. And yeah, super powerful. <laughs> if you're not careful. I could see why they have these breakaway cords. So if you fly off the thing, it shuts off. Yeah. Because, wow. And when we go this, you know, when we do take a ride, will we take a little GoPro with us? Yeah. And maybe get some video footage somehow? Helmet cam. Helmet cam, yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned for some helmet cam snowmobile footage here in the southern Adirondacks. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be beautiful. We get weather like this. Oh this my is what gosh. you want. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you on the next video. What's the matter, honey? Your granola bar frozen? Yeah, it's frozen. <laughs> Try and warm it up a little bit. <laughs> that rigid heater comes in handy a lot. <laughs> you can roast marshmallows and everything here. It's the best heater for off grid purposes, oh, that's for sure. My fingers are hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it smells good. It smells like it it's smells baking like, in the oven. It's a honey bar, honey it cranberry. It smells nice. It's getting Let me smell. Look, look at it now. Mmm, that looks good. No, it's not frozen. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, the snowstorm came. And this is the perfect snow for riding the snowmobiles in.